And in Guwahati, Eknath Shinde continues to flex his muscle and his numbers. He appeared at the gates of the Radisson Blue Hotel, waving and striding with swag yesterday and declared that he will be heading to Mumbai soon. Could that soon be today? We'll find out in the... The swag of confidence, the man of the moment, rebel leader Eknath Shinde waving from outside his Gohati hotel, sending a message to his turf, calling his followers the real Shiv Sena, who are carrying forward Bala Sahib Thakre's Hindutva legacy. हमारी जो Bala Sahib Thakre Hindutva की जो बात है, हम लोग आगे ले जा रहे हैं और Shiv Sena में हम लोग हैं और Shiv Sena को आगे ले ले जा रहे retorting to the Udhav Sena's taunts to come back to Mumbai. The confidence stems from these images. Over two-thirds of the Shiv Sena's MLAs are rooting for Eknath Shinde and 14 of 18 Sena MPs are reportedly in touch with the rebel base. It may be just a matter of time before Shinde ties up with the BJP officially. The combine, once final, can claim the backing of nearly 170 MLAs way ahead of the diminished Maha Aghadi Sarkar. Ex-Chief Minister and the BJP's frontal face in Maharashtra, Devendra Padnavis, is already closeted with top party bosses in the capital. Padnavis earlier air-dashed to Delhi, flanked by top legal eagle Mahesh Jait Malani. The BJP and Shinde Sena are likely to formalize their power-sharing formula, which may involve a Deputy Chief Minister post for rebel leader Shinde and as many as 13 ministerial berths, including eight cabinet positions for his loyalists. The BJP is planning to keep 29 berths for itself. The independence of smaller parties may too get accommodated. But the BJP and Shinde still have one final hurdle to cross. Make Udha face his enemy number one, a floor test, and script the downfall of the Aghadi Sarkar, all the while keeping Shinde's flock firmly together. With Polomi Saha in Guwahati and Milan Sharma and Aishwarya Paliwal in Delhi, your report in the day.